Yeah, hello everybody. Welcome uh, to this episode. Oh my god, did I peek there. Uh, I'm gonna have to like, just dip that down and then dip this down a couple of decibels to compensate for it, but hopefully this ends up being okay. Uh, down a bit lower. There we go. There we go. Now it doesn't peak too much. Still need to reduce game sounds by a lot. Uh, hey everybody, welcome to this game of Awesome Nuts. We're going to play some Rocco. This is Eddie Davis's full-on arrow super, like, you know, super build. Um... I'm not going to lie, my prediction is that this will not go well. Eddie Davis, as much as I appreciate you as a viewer, uh, there's a couple things wrong with Rocco at the moment. And let me go ahead and just explain that he's a very low damage character. After I plug this into Knot's Builder and everything, um, like the maximum damage his arrow can do on a 7 second cooldown is still shy of 600. Like It's actually impressive how low it is. Um, and we're going to see whether or not we can manage to pull it off today. Now, I know that Zed Farrell on the other team is on point. He's very good. And uh, here's the build. Open up with Magnetic Police Light and, uh, you know, Birdseed Donuts immediately. Stop checking. Everything's okay on the recording, yeah? Yeah, everything seems alright. I'm getting a little bit of framage, which is not obviously very good. So, you know, that's a, that's a problem that we need to keep track of. Now, you, you, leave, uh, you leave my team alone. Yeah, high-powered super arrows from a distance might be able to actually do this. Uh, if we can pull it off, and if people keep making silly mistakes. It's one of those things, though, where I just... I'm pretty sure that it shouldn't work late game, when people are smart. But, you know what? We'll make it work, if we can, okay? There's a lot to be said about an arrow build that allows you to kind of snipe and poke and hit from a distance and get kills. It's a little expensive, though, considering that arrow is still one of the very few upgrades in the game that uh, has... I think it still has three ranks for damage on arrows. Like, that's how long it's been since I've gotten an arrow build which got damage on it. Like, it's just... It's not a thing that seems to make a lot of sense with a lot of people. But, you know what? I've been wrong in the past. I've been wrong in the past, so... You never know, okay? Oh my lord, just leave me alone. Enemy team, leave me alone. I would like to... manage to get, get the sneaky jump. I got the sneaky jump. Feels good. Have an arrow in the middle, just in case if anybody's in there. Nobody's in there. Back off from the ball. I went a little... I went a little further than I expected, but that's okay. Fwah! Enjoy the... Arrow. Right in the face. Admittedly, we are landing a lot of arrows, which is nice, because there's no real wind-up time, so there's no warning as to whether or not we're going to actually launch these things. So long as we're on point and we lead the target properly, we're actually okay uh, damage-wise on this thing. The downside is that, uh, despite all this, we're still having a hard time actually going in there and doing damage. Now, it's worth mentioning that I'm probably going to change up Eddie Davis's build just a, just a tiny bit, because... His, uh, the, the build that we have for his, for Rocco's Vengeance here is such that you do not get the stun whenever you're in Vengeance mode. And that seems like a pretty big waste of time, if I'm being honest with you. Like, stun on arrow is, it's a stun. Like, it's, it's so good. Why wouldn't you do it? Uh, I suppose that they're trying to, like, compensate for left-click damage, maybe lacking. But, you know, if you're gonna go an arrow build, why not go the whole way? Uh, would be my suggestion. But you know what? No, 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 no. I, I've double thought it. We're going to go ahead and go for the full uh, Eddie Davis build here at this moment. See how it works out. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just one attack. What? Missed. I am disappointed in myself. I'm disappointed in my family, my friends. I'm disappointed in anybody that believed in me at any point in time in their lives. Um, I mean, I hit somebody, which is nice and all, but we're going to leave this one here for somebody else. We don't need it right now. That might hit somebody. I sincerely doubt it, but it might. Nah, it's not going to hit anybody. Okay. Just get in over here. Zed Pharrell getting out of, like, sticky situations where he really has no right to. I'm... I, okay. I gonna, I'm going to go ahead and take the blame on that one. Like, the more I think about it, the more I'm taking the blame on that one, for sure. Like, there's just... There's no reason why that Nibs should have been able to get away. Other than I sucked. And I fucking blew chunks. Oh! That was a reasonable arrow! That was a reasonable arrow, if only we had had damage. Okay, hold on. Toss out one of these. It hit somebody. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab one rank in this. Yeah, it requires three ranks to be effective. That's amazing. And by amazing, I mean that's actually kind of horse crap. Uh, <laughs> God, I hate this. The They got rid of most three rank abilities on most knots because it was just really expensive and difficult to balance for most knots. I think that Rocco is still one of them. They could easily put those two arrow damage upgrades together and uh, like maybe like nerf the cost, but keep the overall effect the same, and that would be fine. Like, that would be okay by me. 
And yet here we are. With a three rank, you know, upgrade ability. Wah! Not gonna hit a goddamn thing, is it? Nope. That's okay. We'll learn, we'll learn. The good thing about this is that... The good thing about this is that, honestly, the arrows themselves are very easy to land. And so long as we aim relatively well, we can usually hit across the map if we're smart about things. Which is honestly fantastic. The downside here is that I cannot guarantee arrows landing all the time. It's, it's, it's like, it's far more likely, but it's not a guarantee. Like right there, I didn't know how much HP the, those droids had. And the other thing is that this is actually lousy as, lousy as hell at clearing lanes. Like right now, our farm is so terrible. Our ability to actually get like clear droids off of our lanes, awful sauce. That's a massive downside in this game. If you can't clear lanes quickly, then you're not going to be able to get money quickly. And if you don't get money quickly, then that's a problem. Okay, well, that was me missing. Don't, don't, don't talk to me or my sons ever again. Okay, back off for a second. We only need another 30 solar, I think, to make this, uh, this particular party work the way I want it to. Oh, gosh, that would have been amazing to have going on a little earlier. That's okay, though. Reasonable, 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 reasonable. Okay, he just used that lightning ball, so just toss out one of these down the lane. Run home, because you don't have enough HP to survive. And keep tossing out arrows, man, because you really don't have any other recourse here. Um, okay, we got more damage on the arrow. It's helpful. Now, this build might work a lot better in League 3. Uh, Eddie Davis did mention that yeah, he is in League 3, so... Oh my lord. Wow! I was trying to focus so hard on getting the Coco that I ended up getting completely uh, flamethrowered, which sucked. The, like, this build might work relatively well in League 3. Because, you know, people don't clear as much or people aren't as fast paced or something like that. But arrow builds do not work typically very well in like League 2, League 1, where I typically end up playing. Uh, and this is one of those times. This is definitely one of those times where you just... You're not going to be able to do what you want to do, and it sucks. Like, okay, that was great, except for the whole, you know, I almost immediately got murdered afterwards part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought one of those, hopefully it hits somebody. Nope, okay, that's fine. Last rank and arrow damage. Yeah, we did it! Woo! Yes. He's a jerk for leaving. Great big trick for leaving, honestly. But you know what? Fine. Whatever. <sighs> you have games like these, you know? They, they happen. The main deal here is that we're just trying and that we are learning from this. Right now, I am learning that uh, Zed Pharrell and apparently a few other people are not happy with the fact that I call out levers on a regular basis because levers actually just ruin everything. Oh. There we go. Land one of those. There we go. Take that out. Oh, hello! Enemy team. Okay, we might be able to get a kill here if we're smart about it and if our cooldown would just come back someday. Fuck! That was not smart. I need help clearing this thing. Where's the, um, where's our railing exactly? Where is our railing? Oh, he's back. Okay. Well, that was bad timing, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, with this now... Let's see, what what does the build say? At this point, now that I've got all this, I'm supposed to go for cockfight spurs. So now I go for left-click damage. I mean, okay, but uh, this game won't last any longer than this. There's literally nothing else we can do. Bad timing, Raylan on leave, honestly, but... Whoops. You know, shit happens, I guess. Sweet kill, though. But there's no way to clear this. Like, there's actually no way to clear this. <sighs> Shit. GG, well played. Um, yeah. How do I how do I put this together? Honestly, the build it, it's it's got its heart in the right place. It's got its heart in the right place, but it just Rocco is in a bad position, and his arrow doesn't do enough damage on its own. Even if you amp up its damage to max, like it's not a lot for eight second cooldowns. You can do far more damage on a shorter cooldown with Lone Star's Dynamite. And granted, you can't do it from farther away, but it's just... It just doesn't do very well. So, if you're gonna play Rocco like this, I don't mind. Like, this is fine. It works great, and it's a lot of fun being able to shoot arrows from super far away that do a sort of okay amount of damage. 
but you're missing out on half of what Rock makes Rocco good, and that would be tap shots. If you can land tap shots, that's where the money is for Rocco. The other problem is that Rocco's clear with this build is awful. We only got 30 droid kills. We still got the most of the team, you know, considering that Raylan had, you know, disconnected and then come back and she doesn't have a score right now. But, like, we did, uh, like, as much clear as we could, and 30 is not a lot. We got completely overwhelmed droid-wise, and they didn't even have a healer. Imagine what would have happened if they had, had somebody that could actually heal and push with that droid wave. We would have been screwed. Uh, despite that, you know what? Game over. And uh, that's that. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, be sure to let me know. Hit the like button down below. I'll see you guys in the next video, and uh, thanks for the build suggestion. But I hope you don't mind if I don't try it a second time for now. Maybe if it gets buffs, but for now, it's just, it's not my cup of tea.